Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I'm Course Hickory, the Drunken Underwhelming. Welcome back to Hickory Reacts. And today on the channel, we're getting into some Tom McDonald. It's God mode. Let's go. Yeah, Tom released a 8 minute and 24 second video for a song called God Mode. I have no idea how long the actual song is. I'm going to assume it's at least eight minutes because uh, he usually has like a 15 or 20 second little thing at the end of it that's like just the beat with some, uh, you know, video by Nova Rockefeller, etc. No idea what we're about to get into. I'm excited. I don't do any research uh, before doing reactions. I like to be raw, real, and off the cuff. And I am a very pause heavy reactioner. If that's not your thing. Uh, might be your time to leave. Let's go. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not the kid. Okay, okay. Coming out the gate, uh, talking about they think his political rap's boring, and I mean, maybe he's responding to <laughs> my last reaction where I was like, I like some other stuff from Tom, and I get that he he's talking about what he thinks is important. Uh, this song almost has like a NF vibe with the beat in there. Um, yeah, not sure where it's going to go. It's going to be a, we're in for a ride, folks. For me to a different man. I'm not the kid who was visiting in Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past, but I sobered up prescriptions, hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20. Ooh, 50 billboard plaques. Oh shit. But good, uh, good job on getting sober, my friend. That's a. It's a struggle a lot of us deal with, especially drunk magicians. Billboard plaques, $20 million and a million fans. Middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. I'm so independent, so they get the message. I've been spitting facts, I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth, I am the GOAT, I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I Ooh, okay. Talking about how you can be in the bottom of the barrel, uh, absolutely just drowning. But if you, uh, if you focus and turn things around, you can... Uh, you can create something amazing and uh, a little cocky, albeit I feel like he's earned it at this point. I am the one I'm going to preach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world and you can beat them if you just believe. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard anybody say that he's Illuminati, but I, maybe I guess I I don't consume all the content on the Internet. And I'm going to hell. They're desperately searching for any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim, I worship Satan and labels of health. I don't have an advantage. It's natural talent. Your ego is damaged. Admit that you failed. I'm uh, he's also cornered the market on controversial right wing rap, which has uh, definitely helped propel that a little bit. And I'm not talking smack. I'm the guy has found his niche. Uh, it's what they tell every YouTuber to do, right? Is like, find your niche, stay in your lane and do it. And yeah, Tom's been uh, pretty damn niche down and he's uh, he's absolutely just crushing it. Failed. I remember back when I was the only political rapper. What the hell happened? All this uh, I, I, <laughs> see, I like Tom, but I would have to disagree and that, uh, I don't know. Uh, Ice T might have to a little disagreement. Uh, public enemy. Uh, I don't know. It seems like political rap has been a thing for a while. Uh, maybe right wing political rap were one of the first ish, but uh, or or not even right wing, dude. Like I I don't know, but it, rap's always been political, my friend. I'm gonna. I'm sorry, I have to call it out on that one. I I can't <laughs> can't let that one fly. The only political rapper, what the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tragic. I, I would say the part of that is that uh, everything got political once COVID hit because politics became our sports, right? They canceled sports, made everybody stand doors at home, and all you did was read about how evil the orange man was all day. And therefore, everybody got super invested in politics because... There wasn't all the other BS entertainment going on, and that's still kind of carried on. So it would make sense that with the culture becoming more political and more divided, that there would be more artists in that lane. Um, I don't know. Never been my shtick. I should be flattered. Man, I created the genre. They practically jacked it. Acting like they're in the conversation. They ain't nowhere near it on a different planet. This is not YouTube. This is upper echelon. President of Sony on my telephone. I get what I want, how I want, when I want, until the day that I'm dead and gone. The inner. Oh, I don't. What is that? Like, is he uh, chatting with the president? 
a Sony? I didn't think he had much to do with any major labels, but who knows? I'm, I'm just a drunk magician who's been watching the ride. Ned in love with beef, they want rappers at war. But I don't care who's coming at me, I swore that I wouldn't do disses no more. The last time I battled the man... Oh, uh, and not to mention, Tom's looking jacked these days, huh? He's, the lifting's been going well for him, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's nice to see him put some... Uh, Put some steak on his frame. Didn't do disses no more. The last time I battled the man that I trampled lost his career and then had a divorce. That wasn't fair. Homie got torched. I feel the weight like I'm carrying around a corpse. Still no deal. Still no team. Still. Was that a Mac Lethal reference? I'm, I'm not sure. I feel like the last two people that Tom beefed with were Mac Lethal and MGK. To be honest, I don't know. I still like Mac Lethal. I think he's funny as hell. Um, and my buddy Joss Slade got to open for him, which is pretty dope. Still no deal, still no team, still just little old me, still making fun of the whole industry, still rap on my own beats. I'm the only multimillionaire in my family tree. I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess I can show you why I move like this. Let me take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live for. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, this is a really interesting video and it's all over the place and I mean, we're only like a quarter of the way through it, and I was not expecting to be fully entertained the whole time. I was also not expecting to pause this much. So, yeah, I am pause heavy. I'm sorry. This is probably going to be the longest reaction that I ever put up on this channel. I live for an alcoholic, nothing in my wallet. Every doctor said that I was depressed. Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box and addicted to meth. I was sleeping on my best friend's couch. I was dreaming of a West End house. We was living in a basement suite. East side brand, we get out. Motor Tom's really yelling in this one too. He's like, he's going at it. He's at the, like the top of his vocal range here, just screaming. We get out. Motorcycles on the front lawn, bunch of crackheads in the alley. Open up my bedroom window and tell them there's empty bottles they can have. Come. <laughs> oh, uh, I grew up at a bar. I'm very familiar with like opening up the window and yelling at people in the parking lot. To the door, I couldn't sleep. Making up noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making if I wasn't high, so I always had weed. Leave a uh, yeah, no, no. I, I, I can say I've been there a time or two, like not not wanting to consume food unless I had a, a cannabis in my system. Yeah, that's a that's a thing. The crib and the neighbors are tripping. I flip them the bird. I ain't stopping to talk. They leaving us notes on the passenger window because we always park in the whip and they spot. Ten in the. <laughs> no, that wasn't. I've, I've, I've never been an illegal parker myself. Morning, we sipping our 40s and taking the Honda Civic up the block. Looking for one of my homies who living on the street because he got addicted to rocks. Waiting in line at church to giving out food. I would. Okay. Yeah. Looking for his buddy because they're addicted to rock. The rocks. Waiting in line at church to giving out food. I would pull up every second Sunday, get some hard boiled eggs and juice. That was the move. I was a. Oh, yeah. Talk. Still talking about uh, the poor days, you know, growing up and in, in, in the struggle. I was a broke boy, then I blew up. I was suicidal, yeah, the mood sucked. Now I've been rich, I done made hits, I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now the. Yeah, uh, he, he's right. He has blown up, and I'm sure he does pray that he doesn't mess it up and ruin this whole thing, because he is. Uh, He's, uh, he's everywhere and making a ton of cash, apparently. He's already said he's got, like, 20 mil in the bank. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing for a, a guy who, you know, raps and produces his own stuff. And I don't screw it up! And now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm... <laughs> uh, there, there's a couple verses that seem very, very similar in certain songs that I think people are pointing to on that. That being said, I'm not hating because like i <laughs> i i know a lot of people who write very uh you know like you get in your your, your comfortability zone and your style and you just kind of sit there and uh yeah to talk about Mel talk to molasses about that once in a while and my wife hears one of his songs and she's like uh that sounds exactly like the last song cool music's all sounding the same and the flow suck i'm never gonna be the old tom or recapture the magic of old songs i don't know tom you the goat tom give me what i want or i will go tom shut up Okay. Yeah, it does have like a kind of NF vibe to this whole thing is really like, I keep feeling like it ties back to that where he's like talking to himself like that. It's very like, sounds like the f one or two NF songs I've heard. I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb. Always getting drunk, taking hella drugs, living in the ghetto, no food for a month. Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold and hella bugs. That was the old Tom. That was broke Tom. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now you oh okay no that's a good point like 
stop saying that you missed the the Tom that wrote all that while he was just a, a uh, living in squalor and just gross and and on drugs and drunk all the time. I can understand that 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 would be very difficult to pe- hear hear people be like, "Oh, I miss you back when you wrote that stuff." And like, yeah, I was sleeping in my buddy's bathtub because I was. <laughs> I was vomiting all over myself. Tom, stop saying you miss who I was. Now you can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me everything I want at once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have to be loved. Now the ah, yeah, still materialistic crap though, Tom. I feel like that money could be used on a lot better things than uh, Louis Vuitton bags and shit. To be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't stopping nothing. I'm a really go there. I don't give a. Doesn't give a fuck, but also censors it out in the song. Not hating, just a yeah. Best thing going right now, they can't mess with me. I've been up, I've been down, I climbed out my grave, I've been great. So that was kind of like a throwback to Don't Look Down. I remember that track very, very well. That was, I think I right to acted that. That was like the last Tom McDonald I. Uh, reaction I did at the old house. Wait! Before today and I'll be great till I decide to walk away! And I'm the one you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques. I showed- Now that seems a little cocky to claim, I'm not gonna lie. Um... <laughs> Everybody had to beat the record labels and still I don't get no thanks. Every- did you though? Like, I don't remember like a training manual that Tom McDonald put out about how to like chart uh, just, I'm just saying it. Like, I like the guy. He's still. It's a. It's a little. It's a little braggy. Everybody who been hating on me got these every little thing I'm doing. I mean, they dress like me, sign CDs. No one is buying their music. I'm- yeah. No, and I, it's not hate at all because I really like Tom and a lot of his art. Um, I'm not gonna say I love all of it because some of it I honestly am just like meh. Uh, and some of it's amazing and some of it's because the videos were so good and, and Jared and Nova did such a great job and I love the John Rich stuff, but when you're like, I'm the reason that independent artists are on billboard now, I'm like, "Ah, really? (laughs) That just, it, it, it's a bit much. The blueprint for these YouTube kids, every single little view you get, every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate what I do best. Yeah, I... Like, it's a, uh, nobody could have done this if I didn't do it <laughs> type thing. And I'm like, I I don't know if that's true, man. I I respect what you've done, but uh, yeah, it's a little braggy. I'm on Fox News, I'm on Rolling Stone, in the New York Times, on the radio. Got- Who cares about Rolling Stone, Tom? <laughs> nobody. It's trash media. Got a billion views, Millie on the gram. You still paying to be verified, man. I the reason that billboard removed all the digital sales charts off the website i was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light you Univ- okay that doesn't surprise me so in theory you forced them to pull the ladder up behind you god i'm i don't mean to be so argumentative it's just like certain parts of this song are kind of irking me uh Sorry, this is not my normal Tom McDonald reaction. To hit the red light, Universal, Warner Music, Sony, CEOs wanted me dead, but they ain't never gonna really kill me. They just cancel the digital charts instead. Stop telling me that anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? The- huh. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Nielsen sound scan. Angry that I love America. Guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am a... Yeah. No, I don't doubt that. But no, it was just very, very braggy there. And like the whole nobody else would have charted independently if it weren't for me is a a fairly bold claim um, that I feel like I'd need a little more, uh, I don't know, something a little more substantive to back it up. Maybe I'm hanging up on little things and I shouldn't care and I should just enjoy this and watching Tom go crazy and scream in the mic bunch. But yeah, that one got me. I'm faking this. I don't need to keep on making hits. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rapper- yeah, I mean, that's it's a good point. He doesn't have to do this. He could have retired a while ago. Because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rappers hate on me, but I'm above it. 93 Sean Michaels, everyone can suck it. 
<laughs> 93 Shawn Michaels, everybody can suck it. Great line there. That's... They want photos when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the comments. What a bummer. I sign autographs to spill my guts and stomach. All I get is people praying that I'll plumb it. Yeah, uh, this beat part sounds a little like uh, Don't Back Down too. That brrrr. Like, I don't know what horn it is. It's a horn section, I think. I came a long way. Dreamt it this all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I needed boost to maneuver. Bottles of hoots in the cooler. Now I'm... Yeah, no, I'm switching back and forth between a couple different flows. A proof that you can choose to be a trooper and regroup and pursue a future, be a ruler. Screw all the rumors that all the dudes will be acting stupid on computers. Hate is a fuel that humans can use to improve themselves if they don't let their wounds ruin they move me. You can do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hate is a is a fuel that humans can use to to produce better things. Um, that's true. And I like there's a lot of emotions that you can do that with. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's he's, he's got a point. And then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it, recoup it, and then execute it so you make it through it. There ain't no excuses. The rules are confusing, so break them and use them to find the solution. The Okay, the rules are confusing, so break them and find them, use them to find the solution. Confuse it, so break them and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing until you are immune and you turn the abuse into your evolution. I've been yeah, that was uh, that was great editing there, too, with the, the slight flashes of Tom standing with the video of him on the dirt bike. The abuse into your evolution. I've been addicted to plenty of pills, poor and mentally ill. If I can do it, you can do it. I went from homeless and drunk to turning down record deals. Okay, I think that was like a reference to the corny music video. I'm not entirely sure. So many wins that I forget the wins. So many plaques inside the crib, they're getting hard to live. They so jealous, I'm just glad that I ain't them. They got, I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got thousands. I got 10, 11, 15, 20 something names. But this ain't always what my life was like. Honestly, it still give me chills. Wait. Yeah, it's got a little, like, back to a little NF vibe here. And I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's, like, just me looking too far into it. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Before all of my viral songs, before I was living in Beverly Hills, way before I went and sobered up, back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills, way back when I should have been locked up, overdosed or getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital, said her job's killing her, and that was a fact. She working overtime. I oh, yep. The sister, I forgot. She played the uh, the news person in the uh, in one of those videos. Yep, got the showing a little behind the scenes and the backdrop on the. Yep, interesting. Biddle said her job's killing her, and that was a fact. She working overtime often, out of options, having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish talking. Told her walk in and to quit and call back. Next thing I know, she's in California and she's working for Hangover Gang. Yeah, I mean it's got to be cool to like be successful enough to hire your family. Right. And like get out of that. Pretty dope. Like I'm glad his sister's on the team, but <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I got so hung up on certain parts, man. It's a, it's a long song. We're, we're still only like three quarters of the way through this. And daddy always told me I was special. And one day I would conquer the music business. And I guess he was right. Cause look at my life. I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas. And my yeah, I, and so I bring it out the family for the video. Uh, it's got almost like a little gangster's paradise. Uh, like, like I can't do that, but that's like got a little choiry effect to it. I'm worked harder than any woman on earth. Her boss would have never have fired her. I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth. So I retired her. This is okay. Interesting. And then we're right back into, uh, some aggressive stuff. Let's see. White privilege. This ain't trust fund. This ain't good luck. This ain't silver spoon. This is hard work. This is long nights. This is all me. This is what I do. This is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did and you wouldn't make it through. I came out of city. I mean, I don't think anybody's quite lived the life you lived because we all live our own different ones, but no, I get what you're saying there, Tom. Is that like, uh, meritocracy? <laughs> Uh, you weren't just like gifted stardom like a lot of people. Um, you 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 actually worked and grinded it out and did a ton a ton of work to get where you are. And there's a lot of people who don't think you did, which understood that's shitty. And you wouldn't make it through. I came out of city where I still don't get no respect. I moved away and I blew up, and everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left. I'm not impressed, and they've been saying. Yeah, that's a savage, savage comment to point out of the fact that all the people that you left behind didn't go anywhere, and you did. That being said, get the hell out of California, bro. Like, that's, I don't understand why you're still living in California. Move, move somewhere better. You have the money to live somewhere that's great and where people agree with you. 
I'm not impressed. And they've been saying my video views are all fake, and I honestly hope it helps get them some rest. I'm worth <laughs> no, they're definitely not fake, dude. Yeah, the, the editing alone is worth watching a lot of Tom's videos for. 30 million mother dollars, all you bums are living check to check. Now everybody is an enemy, they all jealous that I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them, screw the government, screw the record label, screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode, they in beast mode. We are not the same, we ain't equals. And I'm Oof. Ooh, I'm in God mode, they're in beast mode. Now everybody is an enemy, they all jealous that I'm a celebrity. Well... Yeah, he almost sounds like he was starting to lose his voice there for a minute. Like, like he's been yelling in the booth for a while at this point. Screw them, screw the government, screw the record label, screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode, they in beast mode. We are not the same, we ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throat. Got 11 inches for you weak hoes. <laughs> uh, pray to God that you can deep throat. Got 11 inches for you weak hoes. Savage. Y'all cannot critique me, y'all ain't in my league still All your hate completes me, I can't be killed Y'all just wanna be me, maybe be chill Leave them bleeding in a wheat field All my missiles heat seek, you can beat me Homie, keep still, I can tell that you don't eat me Ton of green beans, you a vegan when the beef's real <laughs> You're a vegan when the beef's real uh, I don't understand this outfit at all Like, is this some Balenciaga stuff or what? Like, I, I have no idea why he would have chose this for this scene just a really weird. Eat meat, ton of green beans. You a vegan when the beef's real. Every yeah, he sounds like he's losing his voice by the end of this one. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who really faking though. And their songs all on YouTube. Well, my songs on the radio. They claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams. Then they say names and play games and take game and hate on me. Wait, I got one more thing. Oh, oh. Okay, we gotta go back a little bit. Well, my songs on the radio, they claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams. Then they say names and play games and take game and hate on me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'd agree. There's definitely people that have grifted off Tom's name trying to get some more. And, uh, I mean, this channel, this channel alone is uh, a lot of the subscribers are because I started getting requests to do Tom McDonald reactions. I'm true there. Wait, I got one more thing I gotta say. I don't need any more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'm like, okay, I like this a little bit. Uh, we got some auto tune on there for sure. More money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'ma keep going till I'm in the coffin. I promise no stopping till I kick the can. To the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hang over gang. Okay, I like that. I like the soft landing. <laughs> Video produced by Nova Rockefeller, Ed, Jenna McDonald, VFX, Jared Potter, Joan, Corey Burns. And the whole the whole family am and the puppies. Oh puppers. Love it the puppers. I'm assuming this is Jared and I'm not sure. Is that uh is that one of the other names in there that I didn't know? Oh good lord. I lost I lost my uh, I lost it there for a second. Oh, he might have been the drone operator that I'm not... I wasn't familiar with that name. Yeah. Wow. Wow, eight minutes. Eight, eight and a half minutes we just... And a stream yard, uh, by the way, use my stream yard code, go to one of the TDAU live ones if you're going to do a live show and uh, you'll get like 10 bucks off or you'll get a certain amount off and I'll, I'll get some credit. Uh, that was, my, <laughs> holy crap. That was my 24, 25 minute reaction to Tom McDonald. That's not something I expected I would be doing at any point in the near future, but here we are. Um, yeah, overall good track there was just certain issues there where i had some issues with some claims and and then i feel like i probably beat them to death uh, i flogged the dead horse pretty good but uh yeah overall uh video was good a bit much screaming that's not really i don't know tom could do it for a couple bars but like to have almost an entire song where he's yelling was like a little much um that being said, I can't take anything away from him. The dude's absolutely crushing it. He's made a ton of money. He's he's wildly successful. He has great quality production. He has a hell of a team. Uh, you know, on the flip side, to claim that you're the reason that independent artists are charting now. If so, Tom, help me chart. Help MC Molasses. 
<laughs> he's being real the long hair rapper himself anyways that's all i got on this one thank you guys for joining me please like share subscribe leave a comment down below if you want to see a drunk magician everybody's favorite drunk magician react to things he has no business reacting to down there in the comment sections where you should be leaving that stuff and uh yeah if you really like the video you could uh support by checking out some merch go check out my boy mc molasses or follow me at rumblers gab as that's where the lifeboats are as well as all the other platforms i'm on and uh yeah, that's all I got on this one. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my 25 and a half minute Tom McDonald reaction. Until next time, Drunk Magician out. Cheers.